Yes guys, the moment I've, I've honestly been looking forward to doing this video As you can tell from the title, this is the driving video for the Fiesta I did originally want to do the, the driving video on the way down from Hardside With the reveal video so I could like wrap them off quickly as I can But um, I got a bit carried away going down Hardside And yeah, that just didn't work out So a week later and we have a driving video coming up but in the last reveal video, I bought a Fiesta ST200, well, for my car and obviously for the channel. Uh, it's my first proper channel car. We did have the BMW beforehand, but I just weren't motivated to do anything to that car. Like, it was a nice car for, like, just driving around in, but that was literally it. I just drove it to work, to whatever I needed to do. I didn't go out with my friends or anything, but now we've got this. I'm happy enough to go out with my friends, go to car meets, I'm out all the time spending a fortune on petrol But that's what life's about, smiles per gallon So as mentioned in the last video, I did need a car that done everything I needed a car that was good for the channel, made me happy, was good on fuel, was nice to look at Was easily modified, eas everything, it needed to be everything, fast I don't want to chase brake horsepower but I want to put some power through it, I want to get a handle and mend So we've got plenty of things to do so, why don't we jump inside the car and we'll talk about the spec. This being the ST200, it literally has everything. Like the car's a limited edition and it has all the added extras, all the top spec stuff. It's an ST3, but all the, the additional optional extras. Um, I've got a list of the spec options. It's an ST200, so it comes with everything. The DAV radio, um, I've never had one of them in my life. It doesn't really work that well because my area is not very good with DAV. It has a Bluetooth radio. I can connect my phone to it and play my own music through I've never had that before, well I had that with an aftermarket radio but that's it Like this is a standard radio, Sony radio as well um, Reverse camera, don't, don't, I don't know why you need one of them in a Fiesta But it comes in pretty handy when you're reversing up close to things um, Heated seats, obviously with it being summer slash autumn I don't really need that yet but that will come in absolutely dreamy in the winter I've used them once actually on a cold morning on the way to work and they came on in like 30 seconds, red hot ass. Um, automatic lights and wipers, obviously they're a little bit jumpy. Um, I don't know if anyone's had automatic wipers before and literally right, any spec on and it's gone crazy with them. So I don't really use them, I just keep it normal. Uh, Recaro half leather seats, they are absolutely one of my favorite things of the car. The seats are phenomenal. Um, a friend of mine spoke to us and said that I would struggle to fit in them because I'm Got quite big love handles. Um, so, so my friend said I would struggle to fit in them, but it seems like I've molded to them. Like the car has, has pushed them out a little bit, the little wing, the wing bits. Um, it's got cruise control. Obviously, I love cruise control. If you're just driving to work and you can't be bothered, stick in cruise control, 70 mile an hour, and you're cruising. Uh, front and rear fog lights. Most cars have them these days, to be fair. And it's got DRLs. Honestly, the DRLs look sick. Or like when you're taking a picture and it's like going dark and you've just got the strip of LEDs up. Oh, I need to get some, I need, I need to find a company that modifies lights because I want a little few bits in the lights and I like the demon eyes and stuff. I want some of them. I just want to say as well, thank you to everyone that like follows me on um on youtube and subscribe to me on youtube and the following on tiktok is it blew it blew up to be fair like I, i'm absolutely astounded by the the amount of support i get on tiktok like every video like i get a message saying that was a great video or 
I could do this next time, you know what I mean? I don't mind a bit of criticism. It's, it, it really, honestly, it, it helps you. That's what improves you, is a bit of criticism. Um, my aim is to make, do, like, making videos and making entertainment is, like, I want to do that as, a, like, a full-time job. And without you guys, that's just not possible. So my TikTok's now over 10.7K, and it, honestly, it feels so good to know that 10.7K people think my videos are good enough that they hit the follow button. Like... It's just, I know it doesn't look like it now, but honestly, I'm, I'm buzzing. I talk about it all the time. just want to get that off my chest. Like, I just feel like I have to, I want the people to say, to say thank you very much for the support. But, onto the driving. So this car, I've owned it for two weeks now. Um, two weeks or three? Two weeks, I think. I don't know, it's flew over. But I've owned this car for two or three weeks, and... I, I love it. I love it a bit. I love the car now more than I ever have, and it just keeps it just keeps surprising us. Like it's all 1.6. That's all it is, and the sound that comes off it, as you'll hear in the video, it handles great. And for a 200 brake, the power delivery comes in really good. The car is nearly perfect, and once I put my stamp on it, it will it, honestly, to me, anyways, it will be perfect. Get um get it lowered a little bit. I do I like the wheels, I like the wheels the way they are, but they're just not fat enough. I do think I need to go like a couple more mil fatter tires. Um and I think that'll transform the handling. I cannot wait to get started with modifying it. I think once you, once I start modifying this car even more, I'll love it even more. Like there's so many things to do with these fiestas. And I don't want one that looks like every other fiesta on the road. I don't want to go for the wild builds, I just want to make it looking sleek. Um I want it sounding good, I want to handle them well. I'm not bothered about chasing massive horsepower, because at the end of the day, if you chase horsepower, you're, just, you're, you're, you're bothered about people beating you. And I don't care if someone gaps us on the spine road, I don't care. It's, it, it's my car, I want to go out and I want to make sure that it's, it's fun for me to drive. Some people like driving like 600 brake horsepower front wheel drive cars that don't put the power down, but that's just not for me, you know what I mean? I like, I like a car that you can put the power down, you can zoom it around corners, straight roads on for me, they just, they're, it just isn't, do you know what I mean? So, so enough of that crap, let's get into driving, uh, well I'll get the GoPro up first, then we'll get into driving, and then we'll get into some B-road action. So let's start the beast, 1.6, four cylinder beast. Yeah boys, can you hear it rumble? No, I never know. So just cruising around, the car's dead quiet, like, very dealable. I mean, I do like a loud exhaust, but not when it's just obnoxious, you know what I mean? My focus was, like, droney and stuff, and I, it annoyed me sometimes. I had to keep dipping the clutch, and it was droney. And the exhaust, I need to get a resonator in, um, just so it keeps it quiet when, you, when you're cruising. And then when you're kicking its head in, it's screaming at you. That's, that's how uh, perfect for me, that. Not by any means is this car quick. Like, this video is purely just, like, to show the build. So obviously this is now completely standard. Um, and then we're going to be adding, adding some bits to it. And it's just going to be that progression. And then by the end of the build, we can compare them both. Another thing about these cars, they get a lot of hate. They get an absolute ton of hate off people in the car scene. They are very common cars. The Fiesta ST, they're very common. But they're, they're really good cars for young people. Like... They're not gonna. They're not gonna be too fast. Where they're gonna seriously hurt themselves, and they don't know what to do with the power. Um, they are a good car to get you stamped down if you're a car enthusiast. It's because they have plenty of mods out there. It is easy to just get stuff done. And stuff that you can do yourself, like the Max and Design Splitter, like the, like this has gone on. Like mods like that will make a massive difference, and that's why I think a lot of people do buy these cars. Um, I did like standing out from the crowd. So by getting the ST200, yes, I'm getting a car that's common, but I'm getting the model that isn't common. So really, like if people still see this car, you'll be like, oh, you don't see many of them, which is like, it's nice. It's like if them people that were hating on Fiestas, honestly, go down to your Ford dealership and have a test drive one, even the Mark 8, just have a test drive of one and it, you'll change your mind. I was the same. I, I used to say about Fiestas, and I couldn't, I couldn't grasp the, why everyone liked them. I knew they were nice looking, though. They always looked nice. Um, but I just didn't understand the whole hype behind them. 1.6 turbo, 4 cylinder. 
but I had a Focus ST, I was a little bit naive, I had the 5 cylinder, I didn't have the big daddy. I test drove a lot of cars before this one, Golf R's, 140i's, Golf GTI's, um, RS3's, S3's. Um, to me, them German cars, right, which is boring. Yes, very fast, lightning fast. If I wanted to gap someone, I can get a Golf R, but I'm honestly not about that life. I'm on about pure drivability in manual gearbox, flying through B roads. If this Fiesta just does it best. This, this, honestly, if you hate these cars, go out and test drive one, and I'll change your mind. And if it doesn't change your mind, you're lying. I'll call you straight out and say you're lying. They are a riot to drive. If you get one right with a Montune chip on, or if you can find an ST200 to drive, blow your socks off, pal. I'm telling you. And the sound you get from a 1.6 turbo engine, honestly, I think it'll rival some 2 litres, me. It sounds amazing. I'll get on this little stretch of road, yeah. And well, I'll show you what it sounds like. Honestly, people looking like I've got a camera on my car, like I'm filming Top Gear or something. Oh my God, it's Jin Chang! Oh my God! Should get a little blip through, yeah. Listen to this one. One point six. One point six. Can't believe it, man. I don't know whether it be in the ST200 if it has it like a, an upgraded exhaust or anything. I don't know if it's got more. Like I know a Ford do the Ford Performance exhaust, so it might have that on. But I'm not 100% sure um, if the if the normal one ST180 sound like this. I was just so surprised with the sound. So I'm stuck behind the car now on the back road, but I'm going to a different one anyway. Yes. Fucking beautiful, mate. Right, so we'll have a little blast up this road here. See if we can get this way of noise. And then, what we'll do is, put you in my mouth so you get a little, so you get a little POV. Until it's not as restrictive, three inch exhaust on. Oh, the sound of bloody bright, mate. I hope you can hear what I can hear because it's just phenomenal. So I'm gonna pull in here, change the camera around, and then we're gonna go. Here, that turbo noise, man. <laughs> Imagine that with a little bit of what do do do. The gearbox in there, so you can literally just keep it in third as well. It, it pulls and pulls in third from 20 miles an hour.
Fish. Well guys, that's the POV driving video slash first drive, not even first drive, but first drive on YouTube, we'll call it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I couldn't really open it up as much as I wanted to. I couldn't really get on many bendy back roads, just obviously traffic and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think I cannot wait to get started on this. Um, I'm not sure what to do next. <laughs> There's lots of stuff to do with this car. Don't know where to start. But we're starting something cool. Um, I need to get home and get it washed because after that B road bash, minging. But I hope you enjoyed it. Please keep up the support. I honestly I love it so much. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I am looking to start my own brand pretty soon. We just need to get the the website set up and I've got the Instagram name and that sorted. The names there, everything, the ideas are there. I just need to do it. I need to get it out there, smash it be the next Louis Vuitton and then we'll be laughing we'll be doing Lamborghinis on this channel that's the goal but I hope you enjoyed thanks for all the support please comment like subscribe everything share it get it out there get me to 200 subscribers and these will be the best I swear to God thank you peace